So this whole project was made possible by um, the Nike Game Changers grant, which is administered through Architects for Humanity. It's basically a grant I received to you know, better a community, better something in a community, have, uh, create something that uh, is good for the community as a whole. You know, I'll take you around the park a little bit, just visually. So, um, I'd say the first thing is we're standing on the pyramid. This is basically sort of like a throwback to the park that was here, kind of like in memory of the park in a way, because it's something that all kids love. They love a standard pyramid, as cookie cutter as pyramids are. Kids just love to try tricks and practice and push themselves on pyramids. Something you, you really have to think about when designing parks and like trying to make the best experience for the kids and for everybody really, is to just have a park that flows, that you could basically, even if you can't do a single trick, that you can just ride around and have fun. So incorporating elements like that, uh, the little bump over there and then the, the little double bump over there, all those things keep the speed and it keeps the park moving and uh, I don't know, it just makes for a better experience. Every corner kind of brings you back into the park, whereas if you think about it, the way the park used to be is that there was just stuff in the middle and there was absolutely nothing on the perimeter of the park, you know? So again, it's just tying to the whole flow of the park and making everything work. So this obstacle right here, which is kind of like a, a gap to a piece of pie, to rails, I guess you call it. It's pretty sick. It almost is like a piece of sculpture that you could skate, you know? Anybody that knows me knows I love wall rides. So I was like, how are we going to make a wall ride in here? You know, so we basically took a really tight fence, put it over there at the top of that steep bank, and that's the equivalent of a wall ride. Actually, two things that I'm glad that... Uh, that I didn't mention are, one, I'm just glad that the red steps are still there. Because I feel like if they were gone or they were like just pure concrete, you, you kind of like wouldn't remember, you know, where you really were and you wouldn't be a psyched. So I'm glad that's there. And the one thing that was removed from the park that I think everybody will be psyched on was the pile of compost over there. Because that was like the worst smell on earth. And it is now gone. It has moved all the way to the East River. It's not coming back. And I think that will be the biggest change that anybody will notice when they come and skate here. A big shout out and thanks goes out to Nike SB, Architecture for Humanity, California Skate Parks, Tony Hawk Foundation, the P-Rod Foundation, and last but not least, the NYC Parks Department.